Um, I'm going to present to you uh, my uh, dissertation, my PhD dissertation, which was on the development of theory of mind and the theory of mind storybooks. And I work at the autism team in the North Netherlands. Um, a short overview of what I'm going to present. First, I'm going to give a brief introduction on theory of mind, then go to my research questions, um, show you four studies we've done, and then the conclusions. These are the collaborators in this research. Uh, Professor Van Geert, Professor Mindra, Marike Serra, Francisca Lott, all working in the Netherlands. So first, an introduction on theory of mind. What is theory of mind? Theory of mind is a social cognitive ability to attribute feelings, thoughts, ideas, intentions to yourselves and others, and to use these in predicting and explaining behavior. Uh, central components within theory of minds are beliefs, desires, and actions, and also emotions play an important role. A very well-known uh, paradigm within theory of minds are the false belief task. I'll show you an example of this within the storybooks we made, the theory of mind storybooks. This is Sam and, and uh, Laura, and uh, Sam uh, has his rollerblades. He puts the rollerblades in the box and then goes away. His sister Laura is a bit naughty, and she takes the rollerblades out of the box out of the coffin and puts them in the, into the box and then Sam comes again and then the question is where will Sam look where were the rollerblades uh, in the beginning and where are they now um, actually the child should say that Sam will look in the coffin because that is where he has put the rollerblades but children who do not comprehend false beliefs yet will say that Sam will look in the box some facts and questions concerning theory of mind. Uh, theory of mind develops in the early years of childhood. The task I just shown you is a task that typically developing children of three, three years old do, are not able to do well. Uh, just at the age of four, they are starting to comprehend this correctly. Children with autistic disorder have theory of mind problems. Um, but you can also question if, is the same, if the same is true for children with PDD-NOS and if their development of theory of mind is delayed or deviant. In order to answer such questions uh, on the development of theory of mind, one needs longitudinal research with repeated measurements and one needs a test that can be reused for difficult for different measurements for repeated measurements so we decided to construct the theory of mind storybooks this uh, holds uh, different aspects of tom precursors and tom basic uh, elements the tom precursors are on emotion recognition the distinction between mental and physical tasks tasks and perception knowledge the basic tier of mind skills are on desires, which you can use to predict emotions or behaviors, and beliefs, which you can use to predict emotions or behavior. The task I've shown you before on the false belief task with rollerblades is a task on beliefs in which you can predict the behavior. I'll show you another task now on desire to predict an emotion. This is Sam again and he wants a little kitten, and his father says, no, you cannot have it, little kitten. And then the child has to say which emotion will accompany this situation. It should be sad. Um, so um, we made these storybooks for the first one and a half years. I did, did nothing but drawing and doing pilot studies, and in the end we had a comprehensive test the test consists of six storybooks. Um, it has 15, uh, 95 questions, um, of which 18 are justification questions, and the answers of children on these justification questions can be scored on 21 categories. And the, the, there's a differing level of difficulty in the questions. 
the duration of the test is 45 minutes, which is very long for a theory of mind test. But we've uh, done this to uh, end up with a, uh, a good test, uh, with good uh, psychometric qualities. And in order to be able to test the children for 45 minutes, uh, we've made all these little drawings and put in doors you can open, uh, faces you can put on, on the emotion faces, um, and all kinds of tricks to keep the child motivated. Um, for the repeated measurement purpose, we made three extra series of six books, which uh, have the same underlying structure, but contain of different stories. So for us, they're the same. For the children, they look different. So our research questions. We were mainly interested in how theory of mind develops in children with PDD-NOS. But because we made a new test, we also had to look at the validity and reliability of this new test. Then we had to look at norm scores because we want to compare children with one another and is this possible with this test. And then we had to look at how theory of mind developed in typically developing children before we can look at the children with PDD-NOS. So study one which is published in the Journal of Autism and Development of Disorders in 2008 on the validity and reliability of the test. We have two uh, research groups, one in typically developing children, 324 children between the age of 3 and 12 years. While the test is actually for children between 3 and 5 years, we've chosen to test uh, broader because we wanted to compare peers uh, to children with PDD-NOS. We also had children with PDD-NOS 30 between the age of 3 and 8 years. We used the Theory of Mind Storybooks SAM, the first version, and we also uh, uh, used uh, the TOM test, which is another D Dutch Theory of Mind test, and a questionnaire, the, the child the social behavior questionnaire. If we look at the reliability, we have found that the internal consistency is very good. Uh, the test retest reliability is also very good, and we found something peculiar. We have found that um, if you retest typically developing children again two or three weeks later, their theory of mind uh, score will rise. But actually, this is not very peculiar because this is the same you will find in intelligence testing and other testing, and it's also been shown in theory of mind testing. And this was significant. It was a 0.34 standard deviation rise. We did, however, did, did not find this in children with PDD-NOS. The next day, second uh, measurement correlated very well, but it was not higher than the first one. The inter-rate reliability for the justification question on the 21 categories was also very good. So this is on the reliability, and then we have the validity. We looked at the discriminant validity. The test could discriminate, discriminate very well between children with PDD-NOS and typically developing children. Children with PDD-NOS had a significant lower tier of mind score. We looked at convergent validity. Uh, if you find the same results with other tests. We looked at the TOM test, which uh, there was a correlation of 0.60 with the Theory of Mind storybooks, which is very good. And uh, we also looked at the child's social behavior questionnaire, and also there, there were good correlations. Um, now I'll show you something we haven't done ourselves, but uh, is done in uh, Italy. And there's been a poster in this Congress where they compared the Theory of Mind storybooks, the Italian version of these books, with the TAC, uh, uh, the Test of Emotional Comprehension. And there, there's also a good correlation. 